ko si Dr. Elmer Soriano from Ayala Foundation Access Health International at kasama natin si Dr. Lizelle Lagrada uh, from PhilHealth. We are now at PhilHealth and Dr. Lagrada is here with us to tell us about the primary care benefit package of PhilHealth. Uh, Dr. Lizelle is the uh, Senior Manager for Accreditation and Standards and Monitoring and she oversees the primary care and MDG teams of PhilHealth. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon, uh, si Dr. Lagrada started out right out of med school as a municipal health officer in Palawan. So, yes. can you please tell us uh, about your stint as municipal health officer? Well, magandang araw din sa'yo, Elmer. Um, yes, I became municipal health officer right from uh, med school, no? fresh from, well, af after taking my oath, of course, as a physician. And I worked there for four years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to describe my municipality in Brooks Point, uh, it was uh, about 200 kilometers south of Puerto Princesa. And uh, mm -hmm. although it is accessible by land, uh, you know our road network in the provinces. So 200 takes, kilometers yeah, of rough roads? Uh, well, part of it rough roads. So it takes about three hours, which normally should only take about two hours no? if it's a, a real highway uh, but anyway it has 18 barangays and uh, it has mountainous uh, communities we have several groups of indigenous peoples uh, people including um, Muslim communities uh, it is a first class municipality so we have our share of private providers uh, we have a district hospital in the municipality so that allowed me to practice as a public health specialist. Mm -hmm. So we really focused on um, implementing public health programs. Mm -hmm. So, so what are the challenges uh, in, in terms of delivering care, primary care uh, in, in Brooks Point, Palawa, back then? Uh, madame, but basically because, uh, because Brooks Point has uh, well several municipal ah, several barangays na really rural no remote uh, access to care is one I remember one time no uh, we had this program called Nusuglakbay uh, uh, where we bring our services in the health center to uh, remote sitios or interior of the barangays on a regular basis so. Uh, I have a team of uh, med tech, mid to uh, midwife nurses, no? and uh, sa uh, sanitar sanitary mm -hmm. inspectors with me. So we went to the one time we went to this uh, mountain uh, community, no, and somebody told us that there was one uh, woman who was very sick, but her family did not want to bring her to the hospital because it was too sad. Na hindi sila masikaso. So, mm -hmm. Essentially, the family was just waiting mm -hmm. for her to die. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the neighbors uh, decided to bring her to us, mm -hmm. to the team. Now we started giving her uh, orisol. Because we didn't have anything else. We don't have any IV with us because we're not supposed to insert anything. But uh, I think uh, with that simple um, intervention, I think the family was convinced that there was care for her in the in, in the hospital, and she wouldn't be taken care of. So one of the barangay health workers came with the family mm -hmm. to bring her to the hospital, and then she survived. Mm -hmm. I think that brought us the lesson that. Uh, just don't know where to go and what to expect and what to do when they get ill. So uh, it, it, it helped us uh, realize that health promotion is sometimes uh, under underestimated, but it's in fact it's really it's really very great if given to the community or to the families. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from the mountains of Palawan, we now find ourselves here as a field health office at Shaw Boulevard. And now you get the opportunity to work on primary care again. Yes. But from the policy perspective. Right. So can you tell us about the 
primary care benefit package of your health? Yeah, our primary care benefit is really an enhanced uh, outpatient benefit that we had since 2000 mm -hmm. in PhilHealth. No? Uh, but we introduced several uh, changes in the benefit and the way it's going to be delivered. So first, uh, we essentially in, uh, included the same services that we had in the outpatient benefit. That includes um, consultation, counseling, on lifestyle and uh, li lifestyle changes, and uh, cancer prevention. That includes uh, smoking cessation. We also have um, basic uh, cl uh, clinical examination or laboratory exams, no? and assurance that the medication for four diseases: asthma. Uh, diarrhea, uh, ur uh, urinary tract infection, and pneumonia are available at the primary health care provider. No? Uh, but the way we implemented it is different. Mm -hmm. Well, going back sorry, to the services, we included uh, two additional ones, the profile and the fasting blood sugar. So these are critical. Uh, in, in the future developments under this benefit. Another uh, change that we introduced is that members who are entitled to this benefit are actually assigned to a provider. Mm -hmm. The assignment is renewed every year. Mm -hmm. Why is this critical? Because one, we need to establish the relationship between the client or the client and the provider. Mm -hmm. Because the, the primary care benefit works best you know, if uh, health education, health promotion is established. And that cannot be done if the entitlement goes only to her doctor or to his doctor when they feel they ill. You know? mm -hmm. So, kahit ulang sakit, dapat alam nila na meron silang makakausap o may tanong sila kung saan nila kapasugan. So that's one. No? And of course, when they feel ill, when they get sick, alam din nila kung saan sila magtatanong kung saan sila magtatanong. So that's basically gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. uh, another way, uh, another change uh, in this new benefit is the way we connect the payment for this benefit. The, the way we pay the provider to deliver the primary care benefit. In the past, it is basically connected to how many are enrolled mm -hmm. by the sponsoring entity, whether it's an LGU, uh, the provincial government, the congressman, or the senator, no, or any private institutions who uh, enrolled a uh, number of families no, under the sponsoring program mm -hmm. before. And the capitation is actually given to the sponsoring entity. Mm -hmm. So now, LGU. Yes, LGUs or, or whoever mm -hmm. sponsored them. But um, right now, no, we connected the payment to the one who's going to provide the service. Mm -hmm. So, kung uh, dati, alam ng sponsoring kung entity kung ilan numbers na we can actually pay them. Now we need to know the needs and where they are so that we can assign them and we know who to pay. So may assign doctor na yung group na yun, yes. and then that doctor will be paid to service that group of individuals. Yes, yes. so that's another major change. No? And uh, lastly, uh, we need to monitor. Mm -hmm. So uh, connected to the payment is, is the profiling of the members assigned to a particular provider. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need also to know the profile. So we just don't collect reports. We need to analyze them. We need to target, for instance, uh, critical services that uh, we will pay for in the future. Mm -hmm. Example, no? uh, we are now talking about outpatient medicine. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, subject to the approval of the board, but we are looking at primary care benefit one as a mechanism 
by which we can identify those who have high risk for cardiovascular mm -hmm. uh, diseases. So that when we roll out the outpatient medicines for hypertension, dyslipidemia, and diabetes, we know exactly who are entitled to it. So, it took, so now you're rolling out PCB1. PCB1, yes. And you are and this is preparing the ground for yes. PCB2. Yes. By yes. profiling, by understanding kung ano yung pangangailangan ng mga members doon. Then you can better target the benefits for PCB. That's right. That's right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now, um, ano yung roles of, of the different in the panwari, in the municipality? What are the roles of the mayors, the private clinics, or physicians, the RHU, and then the members? Now that we have uh, this PCB uh, package. Um, interesting question, because local chief executives or local government units, for instance, have two primary roles in implementing national health insurance program. They are both sponsors, meaning they pay the premium for those who they identify as poorest in their municipality or locality. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they are also service providers, mm -hmm. meaning they we also pay them back mm -hmm. for the services that they through the RHU. Yes, through the RHUs or through their hospitals. Or through their hospitals. No? So meantime, with that you know, uh, roles that they pay us for the premium and we pay them for the services that they provided, sometimes the lines are becoming blurred. Mm -hmm. So that means sometimes, oh, you pay me, I pay you bawas na lang. Mm -hmm. But we have to realize that a service provision is different mm -hmm. from paying the premium. Mm -hmm. No? Magkaiba yung obligasyon, mm -hmm. no? magkaiba ang function. So you ask me, under the context of primary care provider and under the context of the national government paying for the premium of the poorest families identified through the national household, household targeting system, uh, kailangan lalo natin ipag-iba yung function na to. So, ang LGUs, no, the sponsor pa rin sila ng mga poorest families na hindi na-identify ng NHDS. But under PCB1, ang, uh, ang aking relasyon is that they provide the services and we pay them for those services. So, ano yung bentahe ito sa kanila? They have an assurance that they will get the paid for the services that they give them mm -hmm. to the entitled uh, members. No? Uh, and yung assurance na to under this new uh, policy is uh, paid to them on a quarterly basis. No? So, so as long as they deliver the services, mababayaran sila quarterly? Yes. Yes. And uh, ano din? Depende sa ilan ang naka-enlist sa kanila. Bakit important yung ma-emphasize natin to? Kasi hindi lamang namin sila papayaran kung ilan yung in-enroll nila. In fact, mas marami pa silang uh, masiservisyo nga na hindi nila in-enroll. So yung bayad sa kanila hindi depende kung ilan lang yung in-enroll nila. Ang bayad sa kanila depende kung ilan ang nagpa-enlist sa kanilang facility. So ang bilangan ay eh, yung naka-enlist? Naka-enlist. Ang naka-enlist at naka-profile. Yun ang bilangan. Hindi yung ilan ang in-enroll nila. Okay. So, so yun yung equation for health mayors basically. Yes, mayors basically. Pag kakusapin natin si mayor, mayor, ang bilangan ngayon is ilang members naka-enroll, naka-enlist naka 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 doon sa facility ninyo, na sa servisyo ninyo. And uh, given that number, servisyo ninyo, and you get paid quarterly. Yes. Uh, if for, for, uh, for covered members naman, uh, bilang miyembro ngayon ng, ng PhilHealth, may ID na ako, ano ngayon? May para, ano itong PCB para, PCB1 uh -oh. para sa atin? Kung sila ay sponsor member, sila ay click and roll through an organized group mm -hmm. enrollment mechanism, no? or they are dependents of OFWs or mm -hmm. members of PhilHealth, then they are entitled to a set of services under the uh, primary care benefit package. Now, for 
for uh, those identified with the national NHTS, no? uh, may memorandum to the secretary on uh, that sila ay nag-assign sa health centers or RHUs ng bayan at mga schools. Uh, the, but for those other sponsored members no? that in the sponsor ni governor or ni mayor, mm -hmm. depende kung saan sila i-assign sponsor sa kanila. Pero may assignment pa rin. So, so yung pangalan nila sa some clinic yes, somewhere? Yes. Uh, Oo. Oh, yun yung bago din ngayon. Kasi dati numero lang. Ngayon hindi. Dapat kilalanin mo. Dapat mm -hmm. alam mo. Bilang provider, dapat alam mo kung sino yung naka-enroll sa'yo. Sino yung naka-assign sa'yo. Mm -hmm. Not enrolled. Assigned. Naka-assign sa'yo. So, so kung member ako na covered ako dito, Meron clinic na dapat alam ko na yun yung pupuntahan ko. Yes. Paano kung ibang clinic yung pinuntahan ko? Ah, uh, wala tayo asura. Mm -hmm. Hindi namin yun masasagot mm -hmm. kasi ang kontrata o yung performance commitment ang nagpirma at nagka ang nagkausap ang kausap natin ng detail ay yung provider na kung saan sila nakatalaga mm -hmm. o naka-edits, no? Pero kung pumunta sila, it's a charge sila. Diba? Mm -hmm. Pag pumunta sila dun sa kung saan sila nakasign, walang charges doon sa mga servisyo under sa primary care benefit. So, kung pumunta ako sa assigned clinic, papakita ko yung ID ko, titignan na sa listahan, makita nila yung pangalan ko. Yes. Tapos, meron na akong uh, package of services na pwede ma- Yes. So, kung member ako, dapat alamin ko kung saan yun. Alam dapat ng yes. asawa ko at saka mga anak ko para uh -huh. tama yung mapuntahan. Tama. At sa isang taon, kung ikaw ay membro, uh, payagan mo na yung provider mo ay i-profile ka, i-punin ay yung health profile. So, yung mga history mo, mm -hmm. medical history mo, may, may susulat, no? Tapos yung mga problema mo, pakalusugan, kasama na niyong limbag po, pamilya, may kailangan na record yan para makilala nila yung iyong pakalusugan status. So, kahit na wala akong naramdaman, dapat magpakita? Yes, at least once. So, ibig sabihin, ang sinabi ni President Aquino sa sona niya nung, mga naka, nung nakaraang taon, no? Na namamatay ang mga Pilipino na hindi nakakakita na ito, hindi na mayayari under primary care benefit one po na ikawin ito. So, ito sa mga mahihikap natin ka uh, membro at sa ating mga OFWs and organized group members, then, uh, hindi na totoo na hindi ka nakita na ito sa doon na isang taon. Mm -hmm. Kasi kailangan yun para mag-profile ka. Para, para mabayaran si na at doktor. At mababayaran si So kung hindi ako papita, si na doktor, hindi mababayaran ng PhilHealth. Yes. So ma masaya si doktor kung nagpakita ako dun sa kanila. Yes. Dahil makakasingil siya sa PhilHealth. Yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. Ngayon, for a mayor, ano man mag-election na, ano yung upside nitong pagbabago na ito? Yung how, how is this uh, going to change the equation of primary care uh, for local policy makers? Malaking bagay kasi alam nila na bilang under sa local government po no, ang ating mayors and governors eh, naatasan na na pamunuan ang local health system sa kanilang bayan at provincia so that, no? Isa ito nagbibigay kabulugan sa mandato na yun. Na ibig sabihin hindi na empty promise ramdam na nila kasi ha nakita ako na eksamen ako ng doktor ko kahit minsan sa isang taon hindi lang ako buong pamilya ko hindi ba katuparan nyo ng pangako ng ating mga anak mo na dadalhin nila ang sabisyo ko so for a mayor kaya na nyo ipagmalaki na oh yeah lahat kayo may ano na naramdaman nyo na na, na matiting na kayo ng doktor na... at hindi kailang magkasakit muna kayo bago kayo uh, mati Eh, for the, for the, eh, yung mga doktor, hindi ba naman sila matatambakan ng pasyente niya na dati, eh, maghintay muna sila malala yung sakit bago dumating sa waiting room? Oh, totoo na, magdadami. Mm -hmm. Dadami yung bibisita sa kanila, mm -hmm. dadami na. Pero isa din kasi sa polisiya ay malina na sinasabi na kasama sa bayaran yung ating mga health professionals. Mm -hmm. So, maliban sa kanilang regulatang sweldo, well, no? sinasabi natin na may matatanggap sila sa pag-deliver na servisyo and then primary care benefit. So, na, na, nakalagay sa, naman sa aming circular kung paano ang halian, sino ang kasama sa labi natin. So, bukod sa buwan ng sweldo nila, 
dahil mas madami ng pasyente at binabayaran naman ng PhilHealth, maaaring madagdagan yung take-home pay nila. Yes. So, okay. so, so masaya rin sila. No? Kasama, yeah. Sino kasama doon? Uh, doctors? Yung doctor, yung nurses, yung midwife. Kung sino yung kasama doon sa team ng RHU or health center. Mm-hmm. Na tumutulong doon sa mag- mag-asikaso sa... Yes. Kasama dito yung mga community health teams natin or barangay health workers kasi critical sila sa paghanap ng mga uh, membro ng field health na na-enroll ng national government at ng local government. Para masabihan na kayo po ay may beneficiary ganito sa field health no, na binayaran na ng ating So, pati barangay health workers, maaaring kasama sa... Yes, sa hatihan na ito. Sa hatihan na ito. Hindi so, magandang balita rin yun sa mga BHW natin. Oo, dahil talaga namang saludo naman tayo sa kanilang pagpupusigin no, na mabigyan ng kalusugan, ng servisyong pagkalusugan. Yung mga naka-assign sa kanila, kasi bawat isa sa kanila, mayroon sila mga catchment area din. So, Uh, at least it's the beginning of you know, paying them for, for their contribution. So, from, uh, uh, for our viewers, dyan, mayors, municipal health officers, health workers, ano yung summary ng ano, uh, PCB package na gusto niyo iparating sa akin? Para po sa, sa ating lahat, no, ang primary care benefit package po ang magiging daan natin para sa malusot na pamumuhay dahil hindi natin kailangan maghintay na tayong magkasakit sa primary care benefit na tutugunan na yung ating uh, uh, pangangailangan, pangkalusugan. So essentially, ito ay para makaiwas sa sakit. Pangalawa, kung meron naman tayong mga sakit na hindi pa naman malupa, yung mga common na sakit tulad niya ng pagtatae o pa-ugod si Bono, kaya infection sa ihi eh, o hika, matutugunan naman ito dahil may assurance na may mga pangunahing gamot para sa mga sakit na ito na available sa ating health provider. Sa ating mga, mga providers, nakakagulat dahil na namin yung ating kliyente dahil na may naka-assign sa atin. Pero sana po maramdaman din ninyo yung ibentahin nito dahil may assurance na napagbubungana ng pondo para yung mga supplies at gamot na kakailanganin natin para magbigay ng servisyo ay meron na at mapabayaran na. At meron din po tayong konting honorarium no? para sa ating dagdag na trabaho para sa primary care benefit. Para naman po sa ating mga sa ating mga namumuno, sa ating mayor, sa ating governors, isa po itong malaking hapang na mais katuparan po yung mga po natin, yung mandato natin, na yung servisyo pang kasusugan ay mararamdaman ng ating mga constituents. Okay. Maraming salamat po. Uh, muli, ako si Dr. Elmer Soriano ng Ayala Foundation Access Health International at kasama natin si Dr. Lizelle Lagrado of PhilHealth. Uh, please join us in our next uh, episode of Health Policy.